Hi everybody, this is Stephanie. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a table of contents in Word for Mac. This is uh, Word for Mac 2010. Um, it shouldn't be too terribly different from uh, Windows um, Windows Word, but you know we'll see as we go along. Um, if we need to do another version, we can. As you can see, I'm using my paper as a start. Um, I have eliminated the table of contents that I made before. We're just going to do a couple of, uh, of entries to save time, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what we're doing. Um, as in the old word, you still have to set the levels for each of the headings, and this would be one of the headings that we're using here. Um, and the, the difference here is that there's no dedicated toolbar that you normally find up here. There's no dedicated toolbar, so instead of um, inserting the table of contents first and then setting levels and then updating the table of contents as we go. You set the levels first, but you do that using styles. So this, this um, toolbar right here, it's a styles toolbar in the home tab. And the, the, the styles you're looking for is actually heading one and heading two. Heading one is the main entry. It'll be flush left in the table of contents. Heading two would be the subordinate entries. They would be, for instance, if I was adding my methodology section, uh, methodology would be heading one, and then purpose scope and so on would be a subordinate heading, and that would be heading two. And I'll show you that as we go along. But the first thing I really need to do, and I'll show you why, is that I need to modify the kind of style that we're using. Because, for instance, I've already selected abstract, which I want to add in the table of contents. Um, now, if I hit heading one to, to set the level, look what it does. It changes my formatting. Um, it, it turns it blue. It changes the, the cap size. It changes the, uh, the font it, and everything. So I, I want to make sure that doesn't happen. So instead, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to deselect that here real quick. What this is, is it's a button, manage the styles that are used in the document. Now, I select this, and it opens another menu over here where I can actually change the settings um, for that style. So I'm going to come in here select that you can see that there's going to be a drop down menu here and then go to modify style now here I'm not going to change much here all I'm going to change is the formatting um, of the font of the text so I'm going to go here I'm going to change it to Verdana and I want this to be size 14 I also want it to be black and I also want it to be small caps now this is just mine I took my header formatting directly from Integrative Project, you can do um, your own as you like. So this is just an example. Okay, so I've selected OK. That's what I want to do. It's all set. Now I'm going to select this, and it's going to be a little messy, so I'm actually going to abstract. Okay, so I'm going to select this again, and I want to make sure it's going to be heading. Okay, and there's another thing that messed up here. You can actually also change that. We're going to go back to Modify Styles real quick. And I want it to be double spaced. So it changed the header to be double spaced so you don't have to mess with that. Also, you'll notice down here, it gives you what your formatting for the header is. And you can see here, it added space before 24 point. Now, we don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the um, decrease space button right here. And I'm just going to click it until it goes down to zero. So it just eliminated that completely. So I'm going to hit OK. And that's good. So it appears to have changed that. So that's good. Okay. So that was abstract. Now I'm going to go down. That was a main header. And I'm going to go down real quick. We'll do introduction to. So now that I've changed all that. All I have to do is just hit header. So that's good. And I'm going to go down to methodology. Great. Okay. So now methodology, again, is header one. So that's taken care of. But again, we have to go back to purpose and method. Um, and now we have to set the settings for heading two, which I probably could have already done that. I don't want to do that. So okay, so I'm going to select this so it doesn't change my whole paragraph and do heading two. I'm going to come over here, do modify style again, and this time I don't want small caps. I just want again Verdana 14 in black. So select that. Okay, I want it bolded, but I also want it in italics. I don't want any space before, so I'm eliminating that. And I also want it to be double spaced afterwards, so it doesn't uh, mess up my spacing there. Okay. So now, 
I'm going to hit 2 again so it reapplies the formatting. Basically all that does is it just applies the updates that we just did. So if you if you come out of that and you see that, that your formatting isn't right, just hit header 2, heading 2 again, and uh, it'll reapply that for you. Okay, so I made that a subordinate thing there. So I've made a couple of um, examples for you. Now go to the page where you want to insert your table of contents. And instead of being in the Home tab where we are now, we're going to go to Document Elements. Again, that's Document Elements. And this is your right here. You already have a Table of Contents toolbar here. It's really handy. And because you've already set those levels, Word is going to go in and detect those for you. So just pick one that you want, and it doesn't really matter because you can change the font and style and all that. So I'm going to do that. Excellent. So here we go down. Let's go down real quick. Too far. We see that it's already added in those those uh, elements that we wanted to add, but the problem is is that the the font isn't right. Um, I don't want it bolded. The spacing isn't right. Um, the size isn't right. So what we're going to do is change that. Go back to home. And it's very very easy. Thankfully, hit Verdana, and I want this to be regular old twelve. I don't want bold, so I'm going to hit that a couple times to get rid of it. I want it all black. And I want it double spaced. Here we go. Except that's not right. That's interesting. Let's go back to document elements. Okay. We're going to do this again. There we go. Okay. Back to home. Don't want it bolded. I want it black. I want size 12, although I'll change that header in just a minute. And I want it. There we go. Awesome. The only thing different is I want this to be size 14, bolded, and then small caps. And if you want to know how to do small caps without going into fonts, you can do, um, on Mac anyway, Command, Shift, K. If you're in um, on a Windows-based Word, you can do Control, Shift, K, and that's how you get small, small caps if you're interested. Anyway, so there you go. That's the down and dirty way of doing a table of content in uh, Word for Mac and have it work for you.